Hey guys, Vintage Beef back in action, and today we have something a little different. It's not really uh, a let's play, it's kind of like a little, um, it's different. <laughs> um, so I created something here uh, out of pistons and redstone, and I have to say, I am terrible with redstone, like really, really, really bad. Good has now surpassed me in redstone uh, ability. I'm terrible with it, but I did manage to make this, which is pretty cool. Um, I was on the IRC the other day, and we were talking about ideas for stuff to put in the arena and, and uh, outside the arena, stuff like that. Just to, I guess, uh, decorate it more or uh, make it make it more of an event. And um, I mentioned this to someone, and they uh, they replied that they didn't really know how to go about making it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. So what we have here is a, um, a whack-a-mole game, sort of. Um, it's all wired with redstone. I'll show you how it works first. It even has difficulty settings. Um, <laughs> not intended, but I didn't... Well, I guess I could have wired these switches into one switch, but um, I actually left it separate because it seems kind of cool with the difficulty. So this is easy mode. These... Um, that switch only lets it the first two, the first row, which uh, consists of two moles, pop up, and you have to use your hand to bust them. So you got to be quick on the draw. Any minute now. <laughs> it's completely random, by the way. The redstone is completely randomized. So, oh, I wasn't quick enough there, and I wasn't quick enough there. Either way, let's turn on uh, this one here, which will get all of them going. The goal is to punch the wool blocks as they come out. You stand right here. You can't punch down because that would be cheating. So you have to keep your cursor up here. Um, in fact, you could probably break out this block and be even lower. But Got that. Oh, I almost had that one. Damn it. Um, anyways, <laughs> this is kind of a cool little, uh, little game I thought would be fun to create. And um, I'll show you guys how it's uh, all wired up here. So first of all, you have this bad boy right here. This is sort of like the randomizer. It just confuses the crap out of the redstone. Uh, this right here leads underground to one of the switches. So basically, this um, you have a block with torches on three sides. Because I only needed three. You can also put a torch back here, but I didn't have to. Um, and you have redstone here in the middle, which kind of, like I said, confuses the crap out of your redstone and, and randomly pulses um, different blocks. And then each of those leads to an inverter, and you can make this. Oops, you can make this go a lot quicker too. Which would be, you could change the speeds on it. You could put more than one inverter. You can uh, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. But as you can see, that kind of make the ones I just reset there are just for the back row, and that kind of makes things go a little too crazy. You'd need shears for this game because uh, they're just gonna pop up real quick, as you can see. Either way, um, you can play around with the inverters if you'd like and set the appropriate speed. I'll set that one real fast too so you guys can see. See them all going at the same speed. So on, on that side you have that thing there and on this side you have pretty much the exact same except with only two torches on each side because you only need two blocks. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's super simple. Um, this this uh, redstone length <laughs> or whatever you want to call it, leads to the other switch to turn off the front row. So it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, really easy to build. I suck with redstone, so I'm kind of proud of my building ability. Let me see if I can use the shears. Oh. Damn. The shears, it, uh, the repeaters are probably still t set a little too quick. Damn it. <laughs> There we go, I got one. Basically, that's how you play the game. You use shears if they're... It depends on the speed, too. You can use shears or a sword. It all depends on the um, the speed of the, of the uh, repeaters. Um, I like to actually set it on the slowest setting and punch the wool off. And um, I guess the easiest way to play is punch the wool off until all of them are gone and time it. And uh, the fastest time wins. What do they win? Nothing. 
that'll turn off the uh, the game here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you uh, want a more detailed look at how it's built, I don't really see a need for it. I mean, copy these exact things right here. This is the this is the redstone confuser, I like to call it. And there's another one on the other side, and each of them leads to a piston. That's pretty much it. And you don't even need um, repeaters. Let me show you. Uh, you don't even need repeaters, but then the blocks go like super fast, and uh, and you can't really break anything. It's pretty much impossible. But I'll show you guys anyway. Pretty simple little idea. So yeah, you can. Uh, this is a great idea to put in the arena for Goods Contest. Um, so, okay, so this is the middle block back here. Let's see how that behaves differently compared to the rest of the block. So that, the redstone I just put in was for the, uh, yeah, you see that? It goes a lot quicker. There's really no way, even with shears. Yeah, there's no way. That's why I put in repeaters. And you can uh, double up on repeaters too. There we go. Anyway, I hope you guys like this little idea. Again, if you guys are entering Goods Contest, the 1.8 contest, this is probably something that would uh, kind of like a little game for uh, under the arena or under the stands or, or whatever. Wherever you want to build it, it'd be a pretty cool idea. But that's not the only reason I uh, built it. I just built it because I wanted to play around with some redstone and some pistons. <laughs> and this is what I came up with. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you guys next time.